Hey, Joni, I'll be visiting Rosie today at 3 p.m., giving you a heads up. Well, 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 look who decided to show up. The absentee dad missed this work visit, huh? Come on, Joni. We've been divorced for six months. Can you please stop mocking me? Besides, we've talked about this. I had a busy week with a new project at work. I've got a business trip for three days this weekend, so I won't be able to see Rosie. Yeah, right. Jobs more important than your own kids? Just keep working on your stupid project because clearly you don't care about your children. I do care. She's my child and I love her with all my heart. But you only let me visit her once a week. Well, that's our deal and you agreed to it. Anyway, I'll visit today. Anything Rosie needs that I might be missing? I got diapers, milk, some clothes, baby powder, and some other stuff. Anything else? You don't have to do that. Just send me the money. I'll get it myself. What if you buy the wrong type and make Rosie sick? You want to hurt her? No, of course not. You're right. Mother knows best. Of course. And don't forget to grab some cookie dough ice cream from Ben and Jerry's. Um, isn't Rosie too young for ice cream? No, dummy. It's for me. Got it. Who's that girl? Huh? You mean Dana? Who else? Well, like I told you, she's a colleague and a friend. Liar. The way you two looked at each other, you're not just friends. When she held Rosie, she said she wanted a daughter like her, with your calm and gentle personality. How dare she hold my child? And you said that the baby would be beautiful with big blue eyes like her. You looked at her like you were picturing a happy future for both of you. Uh, Joni, were you spying on us talking? No, I just happened to be passing by and overheard it accidentally. Then how did you see Dana holding Rosie and us looking at each other? You must have been watching for a while. No. Anyway, is she your new girlfriend? How long have you guys been seeing each other? Um, why are you asking me this? What have you two done? Have you slept with her? What? I don't have to answer your questions. Are you saying I'm talking nonsense? How dare you? I'm just trying to protect my baby from her heartless father. You and your side chick might be a threat to her. She's not like that. She's kind, responsible, and loves children. She will be a great mother. So you two are in a relationship, right? Uh, yes, she's my girlfriend. Happy now? We're planning to get married at the end of this year. Since when? We got engaged a month ago, and both families approved. Why do I have to tell you that? Not that. Huh? Since when do you guys love each other? Why are you hiding this from me? Why didn't you tell me? We're divorced, remember? It's none of your business. Did you cheat on me with that girl? Is that why we got divorced? What? That's a baseless accusation. You're talking nonsense. So it's true. You cheated and abandoned us for your little lover. You're heartless. How could you bring that bitch to my house and hold my child? How could you be so cruel? Answer me, Derek. Why did you do this to us? I did not. I'd never do anything like that. Have you been drinking? Just a few sips. Why? You don't care anyway. I don't care about you, but I care about my daughter. Where is Rosie? Are you with her? That witch? How dare she do that to me? I won't forgive her. Joni, where's Rosie now? Is she safe? Joni! Rosie, grandmother, babysitting. What? Oh, you mean Megan is babysitting Rosie? Yep. Ugh, that's a relief. Every time you get drunk, you throw things. I don't want you to hurt her. You think I'd harm my child? I'd never be anything like you. Abandoning your kids, abandoning your wife for some trashy girl. You're an asshole, coward, scumbag. See, this is why we got divorced. You're an alcoholic. Every time you get drunk, you go crazy, curse, and start throwing things around. Coward. You promised so many times that you would change, and I tried to help you, but no, you couldn't quit. Things got worse since you got pregnant. Scumbag. I can't talk to you when you're drunk. Good night, Joni. Get back here, you coward. You scoundrel. How can you treat my daughter like that? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. After all you've done, and now you claim you don't know. Um, you're literally talking nonsense right now. 
I'm busy, you know. Just to be clear, if you come close to my house, I will have you arrested. Do you understand, you stupid, disgusting punk? What do you mean by that? Are you saying I can't see my own daughter? I've called you a lot of things like punk, which replaced your name in my family. Others like loser, bum, idiot, fool, ignorant, stupid, hypocrite, mama's boy, and fool. I guess I'm not wrong. What are you talking about? Are you insane? Suddenly insulting me for no reason? I can sue you for defamation. Honor? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. An adulterer is not worthy of the word honor. Having an affair? Who? You did those shameful things and pretended to be innocent? That's truly despicable. The only good thing you've ever done was provide a tiny DNA to help create this little girl. As long as she is in my house, you will not see her. Never. You can't do that. You can't keep me from seeing my daughter. Oh, you bet I do. Now we all know who you're spending your daughter's money on. Some trashy girl you picked up on the street? That's enough already. You insult her one more time, I'll... Oh, what are you going to do about it? You insulted my daughter that day. So why can't you stand it when I insult your little lover? Ugh, I never did that. I never offended Joni at all. And I never cheated on her. So you're saying my daughter lied? I didn't mean that, but clearly, yeah, she might have. How dare you? My daughter never lied. You dumped my daughter right in my house with no warning, abandoned her and the baby with no warning, then took up with someone you had never talked about. That's so untrue. It's in your head, and you know it. Before we knew it, you were engaged again. So you're telling me you didn't already plan to take up with somebody else? Ugh, I doubt that. No, not at all. Oh my gosh, this is the only time you have a chance to be honest. Please stop being a jerk and be honest. I've been nothing but honest from the get-go. I try to be polite as much as I can. I respect you and you continuously insult me and my fiancé from beginning to end. I told you I didn't commit adultery. I met Dana six months after I divorced Joni. Besides, I'm divorced. So what's the problem with me getting engaged and moving on? I still fully provide for Rosie, even more so. Even though you only allow me to see her once a week, you guys are the unreasonable ones here. We're the ones who take care of the baby day in and day out. I don't know why a scumbag like you acts like it's all our fault. I didn't say that. I'm always grateful to you guys for taking care of her. But it's not okay for you to insult me and my wife with such unreasonable accusations. Ugh, talking to an idiot is so tiring. Anyway, I warn you not to come near my house, or I will call the police to arrest you. You don't dare to do that. Try me. Hey babe, how was work today? Crazy busy as usual. The department head giving you a hard time again, huh? This morning I pitched a new project to my boss and he gave me the green light to lead it. It's the project I've been burning the midnight oil for these past few nights, you know? Yeah? When my boss gave me props and praised the project, the department head shot me a dirty look. When I got back to my desk, he dumped a bunch of tasks on me. Now I'm drowning in work. Ugh, what's that guy's problem? What a jackass. Well, he did manage to make my wife drop some swear words. <laughs> it just seems unfair for my beloved husband, that's all. Anyway, is something going on? Huh? Nothing. Why? Well, it's been a while since you last visited Rosie, you know. I caught you staring at her picture and quietly tearing up alone last night. Well, almost every night. I'm not crying. It's... it's just... you know, I miss her so much. I know. I miss her too. Why don't we swing by this weekend? I don't know, Dana. Her mother and... Joni, she... I mean, we could visit her, but I'm currently tied up with a new project and a bit busy. I probably wouldn't be able to visit her this week. Maybe next week. Or maybe after I wrap up this project. This is not like you at all, hun. You could have quit your job just to spend a little time with Rosie. I know you love her so much. But why do you seem to be dodging visits since we got married? What's wrong, Derek? Nothing. I'm just too slammed. I don't have free time to see her, that's all. You're not being honest with me, Derek. I'm your wife. You can tell me anything. Please, tell me the truth. 
Don't tell me you hate her and don't want to meet her ever again because I know that's BS. What? I hate her? I love her so much. How can I ever hate that precious, pretty little girl? She makes me feel happy even with her sleepy pictures. If anyone is to blame or be hated, it must be me. Why do you think like that? Because... <sighs> who am I kidding? I... I hate myself, Dana. And Rosie? She must hate me too. Oh, babe. Don't hate yourself. You're a great husband and a responsible dad. You've done so much for Rosie. You even helped Joni's family even though she and her mother were very unpleasant. No offense. And Rosie, she is still too little. But I know that she loves you too. Is she? Absolutely. Then what's happening? Did Joni not let you see her? Well, it's her mother. Megan? That grumpy old lady who dumped a pot of hot tea on my head when we went to visit Rosie? Yeah. Ugh. What did she say that made you not dare to visit Rosie anymore? She threatened to call the police and arrest me if I went near the house. And do you remember the one time I was arrested? Oh no, she didn't. Yep, she did. But how come? You told me you were arrested for being drunk and entering someone else's house by mistake. That day I planned to visit Rosie after work. I forgot to tell Joni first. So when I got to Rosie's house, Megan called the police to arrest me. That's insane. For what crime? Trespassing, insults, and threats. To make matters worse, she intentionally reported that I was drunk. What? <sighs> Coincidentally, I had just had a drink with a colleague and an open bottle of wine happened to be in my car. Because of that, the police arrested me, disregarding my explanations that the wine was newly purchased and consumed during a social gathering. I tried to clarify that I was there to visit my child, but they didn't believe me due to my having consumed alcohol and arriving unannounced. Oh yeah, I remember. I was the one who paid a fine to secure your release. After that, every time I show up, Megan will call the police. You know what is worse? Joni's brother is a cop who arrested and threatened me not to show my face at Joni's house. Ugh, what is wrong with that family? They're so aggressive. Yeah, that's why I don't visit Rosie anymore. I'm really a coward. No, you're not. Okay, maybe a little. But they can't do that. You have all the right to visit Rosie, according to the court. I know, but Rosie, I'm worried all this noise and drama will affect her. I also don't want Rosie to know that her biological father was arrested for drinking and trespassing. But we don't know what Joni and Megan will tell Rosie when she gets older. Yeah. What a bunch of jerks. But why did they do that? What? Suddenly forbid you from visiting Rosie. Oh, that. I don't know. Have you talked to Joni or her mother? What did they say? I don't really get it. But Megan accused me of having an affair. Having an affair? With who? Um, you. Excuse me? She said I had an affair with you and that's why I divorced Joni. Nonsense! I know. You've been divorced for a year now. And not until six months ago I didn't even know who you were. Yeah. I think I'll try talking to Joni. What a baseless accusation. Oh honey, I will make that beefsteak for you tonight with delicious mashed potatoes. And maybe a glass of wine too. Don't be too hard on yourself, okay? What did I do to deserve you? I love steak day. <laughs> I guess you did save the world in your previous life. Love you. And remember to come home early. I will. Love you too, babe. Can't wait for tonight. Hey, Joni. How's it going? Uh, how do I know? It's Dana, Derek's wife. Ugh, what do you want? Let's get straight to it. Why did you and your mom stop Derek from seeing his kid? So what? I don't want that loser near my child. He's nothing but a cheater. He should be ashamed of himself. Whoa, okay. First off, don't insult my husband like that. And secondly, what do you mean by a cheater? Ha! Huh, can't believe you're so thick-skinned. You're the girl who seduced Derek and made him ditch me and our child. Got no shame, Dana? All right, that's totally untrue. You two divorced six months ago, then I met Derek. Yeah, right. Say whatever you want. He's still a jerk. He doesn't even bother to visit his own child. What are you talking about? Your mom called the police to take him away with baseless accusations when he tried to see Rosie. So that's what he deserves for being a cheater. 
Listen up, lady. You should realize his true nature ASAP. I told you, this guy's a coward. He abandoned his child. What nonsense are you talking about? He's a great father, and he loves his daughter so much. Then why didn't he even visit her when she was seriously ill? He knew it. He didn't show up. He only sent money for medical treatment. What a cold-blooded, heartless jerk. But didn't you and your mom forbid Derek from visiting Rosie? And now you accuse him of abandoning his daughter? What if I forbade him from visiting? My mom was so angry she found out about his affair and she banned him from coming near our house. I'm her daughter. Of course she'd be angry on my behalf. He's not a cheater. He has complete visitation rights from the court. You're right. He has every right to visit his child. But he still didn't even show up when his daughter needed him the most. Think, Dana, think. Why didn't he use his right to visit regardless? Because he's a coward. He has his reasons. He cared so much about Rosie that he came to visit after your mom called the police to arrest him, not once, but twice. And I explained that he didn't have an affair. Don't you get that? Shut up, you witch. You seduced Derek, right, you bitch? Since when? That's enough. I heard from Derek that you have a hot temper. You like manipulating others, overthinking, and being an alcoholic. It seems that's not wrong. Ha, <laughs> a homewrecker like you has no right to judge me. So tell me then, when did you two sneak around behind my back, huh? Since I was pregnant? I knew that because at the time, Derek was increasingly busy, and he came home less and less. Right, Dana? Right? It's all your paranoid speculation. It's all because of you. What? You stole everything from me. You took him. You took my family. You took everything. What are you talking about? Have you been drinking, Joni? What you did to seduce him? Money? Position? That beautiful face? Or did you seduce Derek with? Okay, stop right there. That's nonsense. Accusing me again and again for what? Give him back to me. What do you mean, give him back? Uh, do you still have feelings for Derek? Give me my husband back. That's my husband. If you hadn't appeared, we'd still be family. Derek would be a father, taking care of Rosie and me, and I'd be living happily. But you destroyed everything. You made me resort to that. You made me do things. What? What did you do, Joni? Joni? Hello? Hey, babe. You won't believe this. Oh, try me, babe. <laughs> So, I was talking to Joni, and it seems like she's still hung up on you. <laughs> That's crazier than winning the lottery, babe. Seriously, though. I chatted with Joni, and she was clearly hitting the bottle. She went on about how I wrecked her family. That's absurd. What's her problem? Wait, there's more. Joni thinks if I hadn't shown up, you two would still be a family. She even asked me to give you back to her. It's like she's stuck in the past, thinking you're her man. No way. You're pulling my leg. Nope. Dead serious. Good lord. Unbelievable. It's been a whole year. Derek, please don't tell me. No way. I don't have feelings for her anymore. I swear, you're the only one for me. <laughs> I was just messing with you. Anyway, she also claimed she texted you about Rosie being seriously ill and you didn't care. I don't buy it. Yeah, she did. I was worried sick. But she wouldn't tell me which hospital or which room. I searched everywhere but couldn't find them. I've called hospitals near and far but still had no clue. I've even called Megan but she only accused me of having an affair and hung up. Can't do anything. I had to send money to Joni for Rosie's care. That's messed up. She's blaming you for not visiting when she's the one keeping you away. And it's not just that. Rosie's always sick and Joni hits me up for money every time. Weird. It's like she's taking advantage. She also said that because of me, she had to do that. Any idea what she meant? No clue. When I pressed her, she got too drunk to respond. Yesterday, I saw her try to buy medicine, but seemed like the pharmacist refused to sell to her, so she stormed off. Wonder what that was about. I'll ask the pharmacist. Anyway, I'm quite close to her. Okay, keep me in the loop, babe. I will. Oh my god. Derek! What happened? Joni asked for painkillers and sleeping pills for children. What? The pharmacist asked what illness the child had. 
But Joni got all confused and changed to buy medicine for the elderly. And then she said she was buying medicine for herself. She mentioned having honey poisoning, feeling sick to her stomach, and having trouble sleeping. Sleeping pills are for insomnia. Honey poisoning? Joni is not allergic to honey, and so isn't Megan. Then why? I think she bought it for Rosie. What? Rosie is not even one year old yet. Why would she buy such random medicine? It's dangerous for children. Wait, you mean Rosie has honey poisoning? Oh gosh, has Joni poisoned my child with honey? She's not old enough to eat honey yet. Oh gosh, what should we do? Should I call the police? Or should I go straight to Joni's house and take Rosie away? Or- Calm down, Derek. We need more proof, okay? We'll discuss more when you're home. Okay, babe. I'm on my way home now. Ugh, I'm so worried. Hey, Derek. Rosie's sick again. We need three grand. What? This is the third time this week. Look, I want to see my daughter. Can you at least send me a picture of her? Huh? He don't believe me. I just want to make sure she's not in danger. I don't know how you're taking care of Rosie. Letting her get sick like that all the time. I want to know her condition. She was in pain and crying a lot. Oh, my poor child. What's happening? Did you take her to the hospital? Why do you care so much? You threw her away. I didn't. Just let me see her. I'll do anything to see her. Anything? Yeah. Then divorce Dana. Maybe you'll get to see Rosie again. What? I can't do that. So you don't want to see your child again? Ugh, fine. But be honest with me. After this, I'll divorce Dana immediately. Okay. What's wrong with Rosie? What poisoning? What poisoning? There's no such thing. Be honest, Joni. I saw you buy medicine at the pharmacy. Medicine related to poisoning, right? Oh, that. Uh, I have a stomach ache. Seriously? The pharmacist didn't say that. She said you asked for medicine to cure honey poisoning. So, who got honey poisoning? I, um... It's Rosie, right? She got honey poisoning, right? Right? Right, but it was just an accident. I didn't know honey was bad for her. You're lying, Joni. After giving birth, I bought honey for you. When I was about to mix the honey and milk for Rosie, it was you who stopped me. You know kids under one year old can't eat honey. So why was it an accident, Joni? You intentionally fed her honey, right? That's a completely baseless accusation. I didn't do that. You don't have to deny it anymore. Megan spilled the beans. She confessed everything. From lying that Rosie was sick, to asking for money from me, to you feeding her honey to fake sickness. You're a moron. Harm your own child. I'll sue you and get custody back. No! How can I live without her? That's my daughter. You use my daughter to get money from me. I won't give you another penny. My lawyer will contact you soon. Goodbye. Hey, sorry about that. It's crazy loud there. What's up? Everything okay, babe? Turn on the TV. Now. All right, hold on. Oh my God. What the heck is she doing? Is that... Is she holding Rosie? She's out of her mind. Yeah, it's chaos here. The police are trying to talk to her, but it's not going... She seems drunk. Oh God, she's spraying gasoline around. And she's got a lighter. Wait, she's yelling something. She said if they take this child away, she doesn't want to live anymore. Oh no, Derek. What? What's happening? She was planning to set the gas station on fire with Rosie. No! What the heck are the police doing? She's threatening to burn my child. The gas station is near the supermarket, right? I'm on my way. Wait, Derek. She's asking for something. What? She wants a monthly allowance of $2,000. From... Her ex-husband. Um, I think she means you. That crazy woman. I told her I'm not giving her another cent. Oh God, my anger and impulsiveness put my daughter in this situation. It's all my fault. Now is not the time for self-blame. We need to figure out what to do. The police have her surrounded, but we need something to distract her. Oh God, oh God, let me try. After that, I called Joni, acting like I was unaware of the situation. I expressed regret for what I had said earlier, emphasizing that my daughter needed a mother. I promised to divorce Dana and remarry Joni, guaranteeing a happy and prosperous family. While Joni was absorbed in what I was saying, the police rushed in and restrained her. 
Luckily, they managed to confiscate the lighter before it could fall into the gasoline pile. My daughter is safe. And I feel a profound sense of relief. Joni was subsequently arrested and taken to jail. Meanwhile, Megan became a homewrecker with a man who had a wife and two children. It was this weakness that helped me have evidence to sue Joni for poisoning her daughter and seek custody. Megan was discovered by the man's wife, and she was subjected to an acid attack. It served as a harsh lesson for her. Now, Dana and I are living happily with my little princess Rosie. We are enjoying a content life together, and I have fulfilled my desires, witnessing my daughter's daily growth. It's incredibly rewarding to have loved ones close by, all happy and healthy.